So later on when we um, you know, recite it, we don't have to do the actions, but mm -hmm. we probably will be twitching a little bit when right. we recite because yeah. you kind of want to <laughs> do the action, you know, that kind of thing. So give us an example of what this would look like in a homeschool sure. day. Sure. For, or I shouldn't say a day, because this is going to be more than a day, but in, in your homeschool, for right. your family, because I know your family is really good at memorization. Thank um, you. So talk about what this looks like in your family. How do yeah. you go about doing this with your kids? Yeah. And, so, and, and again, this, this is not just, of course, God's word. I mean, this can be anything. Okay, yeah, memorization right. for anything. Sure. Um, but in general, mm -hmm. um, we will spend time on that memorization, but then we, re we will revisit. We have tools that let us mm -hmm. do that. So specifically with Bible Quest, mm -hmm. what's going to happen is I'm going to bring my Bible Quest book out and I'm going to say, okay, let's go over it again. Now I bring it out partly because they're better at memorizing than I am. So yeah. sometimes I refer. Right. I'm just saying, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I mean, you know, that, that, yeah. It's a tool. It's helping me. All I have to be is the tutor. Right. right. But as we go over it, I'm going to add some things when we're first going over it. I'm going to mm -hmm. add some things that allow for easier memorization. And mm -hmm. that's where some of these tools come in. So I will a lot of times do actions. OK. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, when we're talking about, you know, um, Galatians are people from Galatia. That's one mm -hmm. of the things you just need to know that yeah. you know, the Galatians that they were a people group. Uh, or I'm sorry, is it a region? But anyway, so you have Galatians. So we use a G, you know, so we say mm -hmm. Galatians are people from Galatia. You know, uh, Paul told the Galatians that we are not saved. We are not saved by what we do, you know? And mm -hmm. so, so we have these very specific kinds of things that we we set up, you know, actions, this yeah. kinesthetic sort of reinforcement mm -hmm. helps not only to memorize faster, it's true, you can right. do that, but it also helps you to memorize uh, for a longer period. And we always do the actions again and again and again. Sure. So later on when we um, you know, recite it, we don't have to do the actions, but mm -hmm. we probably will be twitching a little bit when right. we recite because yeah. you kind of want to <laughs> do the, you know, that kind of a thing. But, um, so, but we'll, we'll take time to actually build those tools Okay. Mm -hmm. If there's going to be song, if there's going to be, you know, if we can put something in a rhyme yeah. or if we can put something in some sort of like alphabetical order, mm -hmm. or maybe like an acrostic, um, you know, that kind of thing. If we can do that with the information we're trying to memorize, you yeah. know, we, we'll do that. Um, uh, Bible quest does that with song, yeah. um, with the verses. I mean, I love song mm -hmm. because it is so yeah. accessible quickly, right. you yeah. know, kids memorize songs. I, I, oh, for sure. My girls know songs. That we never listen to at home, but they hear them in the, like stores and restaurants. Like twice? Yeah. And, and they like, know it. How do you know this song? <sighs> we would never listen to this in our home. Right. And they're like, I don't know. I mean, in the restaurants we go, I'm like, we need to go to new restaurants. I, I, mean, know, I right? don't know. We have this but conversation it, too. We're like, how so do bizarre. you know that song? Yeah. Yeah. But it it's that capacity to hear it right. just a couple of times. And because it's in song form, right. it just gets stuck in their head. And frankly, Yvette, it's our fault. We trained our kids to memorize well. Right. I mean, if, if, you, if you've done memory, <laughs> your kids get better at memory. You know, whatever their capacity is right now. Yeah. As you train them to memorize, as right. you train yourself to memorize, right. you gain acumen in right. memorization. It's just true. Yeah. 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 Okay. So using these tools like um, song or motions, things right. like that. Right. And then you would, you go through it every day for several days until they memorize it. Mm -hmm. And then you, do you repeat it like maybe once a week or once a month, or do you just continue to kind of stretch it out? Yeah. So, yeah, so typically what happens is we don't, a lot of times we're going to come back to it again when we, right. when we revisit it. Bible quest is built to actually come back, you know, every, okay. every couple yeah. of years. And so we'll hit that again. And, and when we've done that in the past, um, I, I did it actually like full bore, mm -hmm. um, in our church back in, in Kansas. Yeah. And so my kids would hit the same content over and over again. And, and, you know, the master just came right back every yeah. single time. And so we were, we were practicing duration at that point, right. Even yeah. though it's a year later, right. you know, and some, some of that content we didn't actually go over again. Yeah. Yeah. Until that next that next year, uh, some we did. You know the songs specifically because I'm I'm so big on songs. Yeah, and we could have a whole yeah. podcast just on songs. Oh yeah. Um, I just, won't sing. No, well, but, but building them, but building them, and they're like yeah. what goes into that and everything. It's, it, there's there's a lot to that. Sure. Um, but um, and I, I love what that is. And I, I work with the five, four and five year olds at our church. Yeah. They let me do this. Yeah. They actually let me do my song stuff at the church. It's so fun. And we do like voices and we do yeah. all this stuff. And and so what we'll do there is we'll we'll introduce the song. You know, right. we'll do the actions. We'll do you know any, any voices we're gonna do. If we're mm -hmm. gonna do you know Larry cucumber voice. Right. So we're going to do pirate voice, you know, whatever we're going to do, we're, we'll do that to make it kind of, you know, fun or whatever. Right. But then we hit it again, but I have these, these verses on cards. Right. And so what I'll do is I have the ones we've already memorized. Yeah. I'll have the kids pull one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I put it aside mm -hmm. so that we don't do it again. Right. right. And so, and then, and then, and we do it and then they just pull another one and so on and so forth. And so I go through my whole deck and then I bring the whole deck back out again. Right. Mm -hmm. And I may only do like three in a week. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But eventually I'm going to hit them again. And so I built that system to allow me to do duration. Yeah. That that's what I was doing. Yeah. 
And so that's kind of, I, I know I just answered your question with like church and home, yeah. but that's, that's yeah. kind of the tools that sure. we we'll use is we'll, we'll, it will introduce strongly. Mm -hmm. And then you try to leverage, you know, with whatever system you're going to be using to make sure that duration happens. Um, and then intensity, I hope they enjoy it, yeah. you know? And of course, if I've done my job on building the content, yeah. then that, that, that helps with that intellectual intensity. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 